thing with dance music, it's such an experience of freedom that's around the whole journey you can take someone on. My career has spanned over 38 years. I started to understand music at a very early age. I just studied it as much as I possibly could. The biggest misconception is that dance music is a new thing. People don't see it as part of a long history. In the early days, the DJ could juggle three or four turntables. You had to really be talented. With computers now, you have a lot of people who don't know how to mix, don't know how to DJ. You're supposed to have top 40 over here and dance music over here. And dance music was supposed to be the domain of weird underground misfit electronic musicians. You go from being in your bedroom to playing in front of 100,000 people in a year. How is a 17-year-old kid the face of dance music, you know? Like, 16, 17 year old kid, he has got no experience playing in front of a crowd. And they book him. Why? If people don't like the stuff which I make, then don't listen to it. Everything that I've done feels like it's gone so quickly. Carl Cox is a real legend to me. <sighs> Final night. Dance music used to be my little secret. But if you have something great, you want to share it with as many people as possible. I never thought it was going to come so far. We're now in a global billion dollar industry. I'm nervous. I threw up earlier today. Oh, really? Really? Yeah. Once the world was able to hear me with David Gatter and now, Martin Garrix, that creates an entire new movement. What's up, Miami? What's gonna happen next? I don't know. Do you know what's gonna happen next? <laughs>